As Oxford came to St James, and one Gavin Maguire on loan from Portsmouth flunked in the third minute when he should have snuffed out the first threat. But John Dernin was given time and space to give Oxford a shocked lead. A bad start for Ozzy Ardiles men. But at least United show character these days, and ten minutes later they were level. Alan Nielsen's header was chested in by Andy Hunt for his fifth of the season. United's other man under the microscope was goalkeeper Tommy Wright in for the injured Pavel Cernicek. And he overcame the early setback by brilliantly stopping Mickey Lewis's blockbuster. Just after the half hour, the Magpies were ahead. Lee Clark's deep cross, Steve Howe's classic knockdown, and Gavin Peacock with time and poise. But Wright was tested again before the break, and this time the woodwork helped him out. A great volley, though, by Paul Simpson. Maguire gifted Germany a goal against Wales in midweek. Yesterday, another clanger cost a goal on a plate for Mike Ford. But within a minute, the Magpies restored the lead. We've seen the move before. Clark, Howie, Peacock in the right place, right time. Great finish. Again, though, United's Northern Ireland keeper was called up. Twice he denied Lee Nogan with point-blank saves, and the danger was cleared. But not for long. Only 18 minutes remaining when Newcastle's packed defence failed to clear their lines. Lewis picked up the loose ends by smashing the equaliser past right. 3-3. Then right at the end, a good minute into stoppage time, and United snatched a dramatic winner. Clark was going the wrong way when he crossed superbly. Kevin Scott got the header, and Peacock's first touch earned him the second hat-trick of his career. There's never a dull moment, it seems, with the black and whites.